Hey guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the ultimate guide to 80s. This is the one that's been most recommended. Um, so we're gonna do this one. It is an hour and a half long. Um, so it's gonna be a really long video today. Um, but I hope you guys are fine with that. Um, I was gonna split it up, but this is the last video that I'm filming today and I was like, we might as well just do it in one. Um, but yeah, I am excited and this is of from um of all the kenny's channels so i will definitely link their channel in this video and stuff in the description as usual um but yeah i'm really excited to learn more about these guys i literally loved everything that i've listened to from them so far um and from watching the making like behind videos and everything for their music videos i've loved like their friendship and like their personalities and stuff so far so excited to watch this um and get to know each member a little bit more and stuff so yeah I'm excited and I got coffee and everything, so we're good to go. So let's go. <laughs> A quick spoiler disclaimer. This guide will include various clips from music videos, hmm. live stages and more. If you don't want them to be spoiled, I suggest watching them first and then coming back to this I figured after. it happened the same thing now um, on the video this video so I hope that's fine <laughs> is an eight-member South Korean boy band formed by KQ Entertainment. Hmm. The group consists of Hong Joon, Songwa, Yunho, Yozong, San, Mingyi, Woo Young, and Jongho. I realize that you are probably very excited to learn new facts about the members. But before that, I would like to tell you some things about AT as a group. Chaotic. <laughs> yeah, I really like their logo. AT's debuted on October 24, 2018, with double hmm. title tracks Pirate King and Treasure. You'll find I really like that, that they, they do, do the, that a lot. Yeah, I love how they do the double um, releases. Still a bop. <laughs> okay, I did. I did listen to um, Inception, but I haven't listened to Thanks yet or Eternal Sunshine. Ooh. Is that Turbulence? I already know I'm gonna love that song. The reason for this is that ATs often involves fans and the public hmm. in choosing which song is going to be their title track. Yeah, By you guys a process let me know that. of listening to clips and watching previews of both songs, then voting. So I think that's two so cool. music videos come out. Only one is the true official title track. Hmm. Their other title tracks include Say My Name, Wonderland, Answer, and Fireworks. While ATs is known for their distinct hard-hitting anthem-like songs. Most people don't know that ATs is a group that frequently visits their softer, more sentimental side. Hmm. Dude, and they have the vocals to do it too, like... I can't wait till I get to like a ballad from them. Especially Sun, I've 
definitely realized I love San's voice. Like, so much. Everyone loves to talk about ATZ's current position as the fourth gen leaders of K-pop. But mm. describing their past and where they started is an even better story. ATs come from a very small company. They were the very first trainees to come from KQ. They didn't have much money when they started, which is noticeable when you watch their debut music videos. Treasure and Pirate King, though was shot in- Which, I know that. Especially with a lot of groups, um, like with Seventeen and stuff too, how they do like all their self stuff and they didn't really start out with tons of stuff. Um, I think that makes them such a better group because they literally work with what they have and they really learn to like appreciate like um, everything and then it really shows how talented they are when they get all the success with just using like what they have and everything. More rock co it makes you have so much like admiration. Spend the least um, amount of money. You can even see a tourist in the background of the Treasure official music video. I did not this notice that. It even more remarkable that ATs is where they are now. ATs have told us that in the beginning, every week when they would get to a music show, they had to shorten their songs just to get a spot. They would even skip a week sometimes. At a recent interview with It's Live, San said that they really, really didn't have anything and came up from nothing. The first member to join KQ and the group was Hong Jun. One could say that he literally sacrificed his sweat and tears to get ATs to where they are now. While KQ is a small entertainment company that most people have never heard of, the talent that comes from it is nowhere near small. Mm. Yeah, you guys let me know his kind of like whole story like, with coming to the group team and stuff. Eden, Eden and it's Mary, so impressive. A special production team consisting of Eden, Buddy, Lise, Alounder, Pepperoni, HLB, and Olive. It mm. also includes Hong Jung and Mingi. Just like their producers, ATZ's choreographers, BB Trippin, are top tier and have played a big part yeah, in the Yeah, dude, I can today. tell. Their choreo is insane, and especially because in their like, debut stuff. is an extremely small company. ATs has an amazingly close relationship to the staff and everyone mm. in the company. To the point that they call the CEO, Abuji, the Korean word for father. And it's always so nice to know because it's like a lot of these companies still a month in put Angeles a lot of effort into some of their groups and stuff. At this time, as trainees, they were called KQ Fellas. The training in Los Angeles proved better than anyone could have ever imagined. Because when ATs came back, they arrived as performance monsters. In May of 2018, KQ Fellas unleashed three viral performance videos. Okay, to you the guys world. told me about these. Carving I really want to check them out. For themselves as one of the best dance groups in the K pop industry. Mm. If, this guy to if you guys don't know too, I love dance. Like, watching choreo videos is one of my favorite things because I used to dance a lot um, throughout when I was in school and stuff. I took like dance club lessons and everything. And I absolutely love choreo, and that's one of the reasons why I love K-pop so much, is they actually go like all out. Accomplishes and, like, half of what it was amazing. intended to. Then you should be leaving here as an 18, unless you were already one to begin with. 18E, the name of ATs is fandom, is a combination of the words ATs and destiny. Mm -hmm. If you should know anything about ATs, it's that every facet of their history is a testament to the fact that ATs was meant to be. The fandom name was announced on November 17, 2018, creating one of the most important songs in ATs's discography. Star 1117. That one's been recommended a lot too. I'd love to listen to that. It's a song made for fans and is one of the ending songs ATs sings at their concert. Mm. It means a lot to ATs and ATs and it has the tendency to make us emotional. Oh my god. I, I'm like not a very emotional person in everything, like, but when I see other people cry, <laughs> it, oh, it gets me. Oh, 
because it's like you can see how much hard work they put in and then like that feeling of just having all that given back to them. Stick, which was aptly named Lightini. Many people wonder how the name ATs came about. It was voted on by KQ and the ATs members themselves. It stands for Everything Teenagers A to Z. They were to be a group that encapsulated and fully personified everything teenagers go through, both the good and the bad. And ATs truly does that. You can read any of ATs's lyrics and feel the true emotion that they evoke oh, yeah. out of someone. They are meant to inspire, to sympathize with, and to give strength to those that listen. ATs introduces themselves with the chant "Eight makes one team." Family, friendship, and relationship are extremely important to them. Yeah, you guys told me they do that a lot in their choreo and stuff too. And even when one member is unable to be there at mm. the time, ATs never allows them to be forgotten. <laughs> That's so cute. Another chan you should know about is AT's present, which is frequently said in the beginning of their songs. It's not always there, but when it is, it's an indication that things are about to get crazy. Mm. If you have watched even just a few of AT's music videos, you will notice a pattern of ending scenes. They yeah. <laughs> are the puzzle pieces AT's gives to us to string together their storyline. Even though, according to Hong Jun, they have yet to reveal even half of it. Explaining the storyline should like... be left to rocket scientists at MIT. <laughs> but what AT's can tell you is that AT's are pirates. The AT's universe involves alter egos, referred mm. to respectively as Hala AT's, and time travel. Which is why you see the sand clock so often, even though, in AT's lore, it is called a Cromer. Throughout AT's music videos, you will find them in the desert, at a school, in a ship in the sky, and even trapped in a clear box. This is because AT's story weaves in and out of their present and past. If you would like to delve deeper into AT's lore, I suggest watching their Zero Fever Part 1 diary film. Mm. ATs is known for many things, the most prominent being masters of performance. Oh, yeah. It is often <laughs> said that the worst dancer in ATs could rightly be the main dancer in another group. ATs has been highly praised by multiple choreographers, including Leah Kim, Sienna Lalo, Kyo Madrid. Honey J knows and Sean Lu. They have collaborated with, worked with, praised and covered ATs. ATs is revered by younger artists as role models both on and off stage, and are praised by experts, some Beninis, and peers as the K-pop group to watch out for. Yeah, literally. Rapping, singing, dancing, the live pre performance presence, writing your own lyrics, like have that all in one group is like amazing. It's not just one of them, it's literally like all of them. I love that. This is why ATs has been on the show Immortal Songs five times and won three times. <laughs> ATs made history by being the only fourth generation K pop group to do so, and also the fastest K pop group ever to win it three times. You will never find an ATs stage lacking, 
and 18s take a lot of pride in that fact. Sai yeah, I haven't watched said that any... all of my junior artists do their best, but 18s specialty is that they work hard and do well. Mm. In my personal opinion, I think they're the next generation K-pop leaders. Yeah, I haven't watched any of the live stages, skills, but I'm effort, so excited to. And talent has gotten them far over these past 3 years. And as a result, a huge increase in fans has become overwhelmingly evident. While AT sold out their entire world tour just 4 months after debuting, the exponential increase in size and venue is quite shocking. Mm. AT's 2019 concert in New York boasted of 800 people for their sold out 2020 tour, which was postponed to 2022. That number shot up to 19,000. Yeah, I saw that they're doing 2 days Not in only um, have fans New Jersey and stuff too, like but doesn't it get sold out so quick. Too. After the American leg of their 2022 tour, AT's stay had to be lengthened due to the high demand for interviews. AT's was even invited to interview and perform at the Grammy Museum, making mm. them the fourth K-pop group and the very first fourth generation K-pop group to be invited. AT's have no qualms about telling AT's how they feel about us. In fact, AT's has a phenomenal relationship with their fans. They are not afraid to be emotional. Teens have no qualms about telling a teens how they feel about us. In fact, a teens has a phenomenal relationship with their fans. They are not afraid to. Be emotional mm. with us, and that is what makes ATs and 18s so close. All in all, it's clear that like ATs, such while notably sharing people, one which is between kind of hard to find sometimes some in groups like this, but it's so nice. And hard yeah. individuals in the K-pop industry. They can just not tell that they're do nice people. They not know when to slow down and relax. Hence, why we receive an entire stage performance whenever they upload a dance practice. But a huge part of who they are is rooted in staying humble and kind. So, it makes sense that. On May 8, 2020, the Korean Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism named ATs as their 2020 promotional ambassador, with the goal of promoting Korean culture and tourism abroad. In some places in Korea, ATs is known as the K-pop group that conquered the US. <laughs> this is because ATs has a very strong global fan base. After mm. ATs' 2020 to US tour, some 100,000 people joined ATs' official fan community. Jeez. This is a strong testament to the power ATs holds and their ability to captivate the hearts of people all over the world. If you want to get to know the boys better, their fun and chaotic personalities are quite evident in their variety shows, KQ Fellas, Wanted Series, Fever Road Series, Wanted special mm. series. I was wondering that too. If they had things, a variety shows. A variety show made by the Universe app. At this point, I'm sure you are itching to know more about each individual member, and I applaud you for being so patient. Let's get to know every member of ATs. November 7th, 1998. Okay, so he's, I think him and Sung Hwa are 98 line, right? I'm um, 1998 too. Um, so same age. Leader, lead rapper, center, official sub was composer, literally everything. <laughs> 5 8 and INFP. Okay. Yeah, you guys have said his stage presence is, like, on another level. <laughs> I love that saying. His captain. Before we talk about all that is Hong Jun, you should know that he is never called a leader, but a captain. 18 and 80s alike both call him their captain. 
and Yoon Ho even said that the members have to pay him money if they mess up and call him a leader. Hong Jung was the first to join KQ in 2016. Though KQ Entertainment was not accepting trainees at the time, Hong Jung sent them a mixtape with a letter saying he wanted to be an artist who writes his own music. Mm. KQ taking a chance on this teenager would mark the beginning of a long and rewarding journey for Hong Jung, ATs, and KQ Entertainment. Hong Jung is one of the only two members that make up the 98 line. Mm. If you watch a lot of AT, I have to say that's just so impressive to to literally just go for it and just send them your like stuff and everything and just be like take that chance and everything too that like shows that he has a lot of like guts and he really wants to go to like pursue that, that dream. The 98 line. If you watch a lot of AT's content. You'll end up hearing from multiple members that Hong Jung stands as the father of the group. Watching him will undoubtedly prove that statement as true. Hong Jung produces a lot of AT's songs and mm -hmm. even wrote over 40 songs for AT's before debuting. Jeez. This includes Sunrise, Horizon, Good Lil Boy, Celebrate, Rocky, All About You, and AT's ethereal song Rora, which is mm -hmm. a favorite of I love that song. He was, and is, extremely passionate about what he does, to the point of not sleeping. And that shows in the fruit of his hard work. An ongoing joke between ATs and ATs is that Hong Jung doesn't know where the dorm is because he sleeps at the studio. <laughs> as outrageous as that sounds, Hong Jung does actually sleep in his studio a lot. Hong Jung loves learning more about his craft and mm. even spent extra time in Los Angeles after their 2022 tour to learn from a few producers here. Oh, really? Hong Jung is very serious when he writes ATs' songs. He sees it as an opportunity to make a statement about life, love, and loss. He likes to write about the struggles we all face in life, but also all the ways that we overcome them. This is why you'll find many people crying to the songs he writes. Not only is Hong Jung a top-notch producer and songwriter, but he reforms clothes and many mm. other items. Eighteenies love to see the most recent that thing so cool. he takes <laughs> and transforms. Hong Jung often uses his reforming to make a statement, which shows in the jacket he reformed while he was in America and wore to the Grammy Museum that said, No one like me. Mm. Hong Jung loves encouraging people and he loves people in general. He is a part of multiple social justice movements like the Polished Man campaign which goal is to end child abuse. This is why you'll see him having one painted nail all the time. Yeah. Some other hobbies Hong Jung has is taking pictures and making Ooh. covers of his favorite songs. His most recent busking session included multiple covers of songs from artists he loves, like David Bowie and Michael Jackson. Dude, I need to listen to those because those are two of some of my favorite artists like that version and like style of music is some of my favorite and i'm pretty sure someone in the comments last time said, um commented like a few that he's done and stuff like the covers and everything so i would love to check those out um i love that so much hong jung is a standout rapper and very mm. versatile in his style his trademark is the laugh giggle or chuckle he makes before he begins his verse. Mm. Ooh, what is that from? <laughs> yeah, I really noticed it in Deja Vu. Many people find that if they hear Hong Jung laugh in a song, it is a guarantee that it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Hong Jung is also a low-key singer. He sings mm. in a lot of AT songs, which is why his style is so versatile. He likes to play around and test his limits when it comes to song creation. Yeah, his rhythm specifically is one of my favorites. Ooh, what song is that? When you watch an AT stage, Ooh, I love that one hair. thing you will undoubtedly notice is the almost crazy presence Hong Jung brings to the stage. When he performs, it is an automatic party. 
His facial expressions are very mm. animated and range from extremely fun to extremely scary, depending on the song. Because of this, he earned himself a role as part of 80s's Demon Line, which you'll mm. find out more about later. Hong Jun speaks and understands English the most out of the group, and helps yeah, translate tell. for the members during American interviews. Though Hong Jun is extremely hardworking, recently you can notice yeah. that he allows himself to have fun and let out tension. Good. And this makes 80s very happy because we all think he works too hard. Lastly, if there is anything you should know about Hong Jun, it is that his love for 18 spans the length of the Milky Way. Everything he does is for us and to us. He loves talking to us and believes that we hung the stars in the sky. <laughs> Recently, during the American tour, Hong Jun said something to 18 that has now really become a foundational quote from 80s to 18s. I would say, no matter where you are and who you are and what you become, you will always be there by your side, like this. Hey. Okay, wait for me. Hey, don't cry. <laughs> if you cry, I will cry too, so don't cry. Yeah, wait for me. You will stay with us like this, right? <laughs> Sangwa, okay. <laughs> if you guys have been watching literally in every single video, he's an issue. <laughs> I don't even want to say anything. April 3rd, 1998, lead vocalist, visual, yeah, <laughs> unofficial sub rapper. Um, 510 and ENFJ, okay. Songwa was the fifth member to join ATs. He was close to giving up because he felt that he wasn't good enough. Mm. When the director of his dance school told him about a boy his age who was working very hard, this gave Songwa the energy to keep practicing. Songwa ended up auditioning to KQ. Later on, Songwa found out that Hong Jun was the boy his director told him about. Oh, and really? the one that indirectly gave him the strength to keep going. 18s like to say that Hong Jung and Song were debuting in 80s together was destiny. Mm -hmm. For all intents and purposes, Song Wa is the mother of the group. Now, if you're following along, this would mean that he is married to Hong Jung. <laughs> <laughs> Which tracks, because while Hong Jung and Song Wa don't have a vast set of idol friends, they are each other's best idol friend. Songwa helps Hong Jung in controlling the craziness of the group. Though Hong Jung teases and acts like he doesn't like Songwa, they actually mean a lot to each other. One of the you know songs friends. Thank You was written by Hong Jung to Songwa to express all the things he couldn't say to him. <laughs> Songwa and Hong Jung have one of the most popular ships, which is called Song Jung. They are not as vocal about it, but if you look know, closely at their interactions, are like my top two right you'll now, see like... their amazing friendship. <laughs> Songwa is the second half of the 98 line and the mm. oldest member in 80s. Though Songwa is both the oldest member 
and the mother of the group. It would be hard to pick him out of a lineup next to the 99 liners. Yeah. He seamlessly fits in well with the 99 liners because of his ability to be very playful. Also, it blows my mind that I'm older than all of them. Like, <laughs> I don't. And bordering it's so on weird. chaotic on occasion. One thing you will hear constantly about Songwa is his ability to help members through tough times. Mm. He is a source of comfort for many of the members, and Wu Young himself said that he goes to Songwa for comfort. Songwa is one of the most caring people and he extends this to all 18ies. In fact, Songwa calls us his stars. <laughs> this has more meaning when you learn that Songwa's name means to be a star. On the first oh, really? tour, I did say, you guys were brighter than the star. Remember me? <laughs> but now I see that you are the light of the star. <laughs> Surprisingly, the song what you see today was nowhere to be found years ago. It took a long time to get him to the place he is today, self-esteem wise. Mm. Song was said that pre-debut, he used to grow out his hair to hide his eyes and face because he didn't like the way he looked. He would practice really early in the morning or really late at night because he was afraid of someone hearing him sing. Now, he says, because of all of the love a teenies have shown him, he has learned how to love himself. Even more, according to the members and Songwa himself, he is the most likely to be caught taking a selfie. <laughs> he couldn't imagine it before, but because Aitinis call him handsome so often, he said he is able to see himself as handsome now. Good. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Who is the visual of Aitinis? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Songwei is known for his amazing vocals and his outrageous performance abilities. Oh, yeah. Like Hong Jun, the person Songwa becomes is a 180 from who he is off stage. Yeah, dude, when he's in a music video or like in these clips, he like demands attention so much. But when he's like indifferent, um, like other stuff, he's more on the quieter side. Songwa is the second member of ATEEZ's Demon Line. <laughs> this title is rightly earned once you see for yourself his burning expressions, swift tongue movements, and graceful dance moves. Though Songwa debuted as a singer, he auditioned to KQ as a rapper. Mm. Recently, though, Songwa has gotten multiple chances to put his shockingly great rap skills out in the open. He has rapped on multiple songs and 18 are absolutely obsessed with the persona Yeah, I definitely want to hear more of that too. I feel like his tone is a really good like mix of Hong Joon and Mingi's. Like, it's not as deep as Mingi's is, but it's not as light as Hong Joon's is. It's that really good middle ground. <laughs> and then just to go into those vocals. Another thing you might hear a lot of is how physically perfect Songwa is. <laughs> We're not kidding. At a glance, it is quite obvious that Songwa has the most perfect teeth. But one yep. <laughs> thing that can be seen from afar are his perfect hands, lips and nose. The AT staff claim the same and Songwa himself also boasts of his perfect hands. One of Songwa's hobbies and passions is his love of ASMR. No, each <laughs> member of ATs created their own series based on things that interested them. Songwa took it upon himself to create a SMR videos <laughs> that were as funny as they were satisfying. Both ATs and ATs compare Songwa to a dragon, namely Toothless, the dragon from the movie How to Train Your Dragon. Songwa bears a striking resemblance to Toothless and has received <laughs> countless plushies of the dragon. A skill not a lot of people know about Songwa is his makeup expertise. According oh, really? to Songwa, he used to love putting makeup on when he was young. And he said, in a recent variety show, Stressor Things, when he was tasked to apply makeup on a ghost, that he was good at makeup. 
Songwa is also known to be very current on K-pop girl groups. <laughs> he knows a lot of their choreographies and is praised for covering them very well. All in all, Songwa is someone you want by your side during both mm -hmm. the good times and the bad times. Yeah, I already love his personality so much. Like, he seems like such a nice person. <laughs> the golden retriever. Okay, Yang yeah, Hoon Ho. March 23rd, 1999. Main dancer, I can definitely tell. He's one of my favorite dancers in the group, especially when he's in the center. Lead vocal chorus, 6 1. And ENFJ, okay. Dude, he's like a foot taller than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Before we begin talking, you guys said that um, when I watched the interview, I compared him to Mingyu from Seventeen. You said that was a pretty good comparison. He just gives off that really friendly, like nice vibe, really well. About ATs is Golden Retriever. I mean Yunho. Mm. I should begin by saying that Yunho is everyone's dog. I mean boyfriend. <laughs> I mean husband. Honestly, he is all of those things. Shockingly enough, his birthday is actually on World Puppy Day. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Something that is often said on 18 e Twitter is that everyone has a bias, but everyone's boyfriend is Yunho. Yoon Ho was the second member to join KQ. Mm. He joined six months after Hong Joon through an audition as a dancer and trained to become a vocalist and the main dancer. Not only is Yoon Ho a teeny's ideal husband, but Yoon Ho is beloved by all the members. At the <laughs> risk of sounding like a cheesy teen movie, everyone wants to be Yoon Ho or be with Yoon Ho. ATEEZ's members often say that he is one of the nicest people ever. He mm. has the perfect height. He is amazingly talented, and he never loses his smile. This gift of happiness is something Yunho uses for the good of everyone. <laughs> AT says that when everyone is losing energy, Yunho is the one to cheer them up and energize them. His goal for ATs is to be a vitamin for us, and I can't think of anything that describes him better. <laughs> Just one look at Yunho's smile or a funny move he does to make you laugh will have you forgetting why you were sad to begin with. <laughs> An example of Yunho's encouraging spirit is a quote from him that said, my self-motivating phrase is that I wake up every day and tell myself I can do it. Mm. He said that there is nothing you can't do when you put your mind to it. Yunho is one of the funniest members of the and the weirdest. Though <laughs> Yunho is the first of the 99 liners and one of the oldest. What is great about him is that he doesn't mind coming off as odd if it means he is being true to who he is or if it is to make someone happy. He once asked a teenies if they would still love him if he pooped. The answer was an unsurprising yes and Yunho responded with I know, I trust a teenies. Though Yunho has the superpowers to make any situation funny, he is not always a playful person. He is very hardworking and serious mm. about his craft. Something you will find about Yunho as you venture further into the world of ATs is that he is extremely competitive. Which for him is okay, because Yuno know hardly loses. The members call him lucky, and Yuno know has confirmed that luck time and time again. Oh, 
How was this uh, Hello82 interview they did? <laughs> Smack the hell out of him! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> He's not afraid to freaking give it his all, jeez. <laughs> Look, I'm over it. The fact about Yunho is that he is an astonishingly great dancer. Mm. Being tall presents its own challenges to dancing. Yeah, exactly. But you Usually, taller people especially have a harder time dancing. Well, short shorter dancers have like an advantage because it's easier for them and to not look like lanky, lanky and stuff. But you know, he pulls it off so well. Like, it's so ease. he's During so fluid when he movements and everything. Yoon Ho was the only member chosen by a choreographer at Millennium to record the dance video they would upload to YouTube. Mm. Yoon Ho was also the only member to record a solo dance performance video to add to the three KQ Fellas performance oh, videos. Really? Ooh, I would love to see him do a hip hop style. Yoon Ho's dance skills are something all the members aspire to. According to ATs, Yuno helps them all with learning the choreography straight from the beginning because his body has already memorized the moves. Yuno yeah, I think is in the very exact interview that said that he was the one who the technicalities memorizes of a choreography things fastest. almost immediately. Mm. This gives him a strong advantage in pulling off a powerful performance on stage. Like the last two members I have already mentioned, in what seems to be the theme of ATs, Yuno is also an excellent performer. Yeah, he really draws attention when he's in the center, especially. Ooh, I like the sound of this one. Something that has been the topic on the minds of many an eighteen on Twitter is you. Who I definitely want to check out some of their studio tunes. Dance skills. So, if you are an eighteen or plan on becoming one, please show our Yunho a lot of love. Oh Yunho yeah. is also known for his golden vocals. His Dude, voice his can range from a lower tone so to nice. a smoother high tone, and each sound is blissful. I feel like he has a really good range like he has that kind of chestiness to his voice especially when he's in that lower tone but when he goes into that falsetto and head voice it's one of my favorite ones like this it's like a very throaty then that, oh. if it doesn't already seem like Yunho is perfect Yunho is also an actor he recently oh, really? played a main role in his first drama imitation and he did an amazing job I feel like he's like he fits the like lead actor role really well too. <laughs> Acting is something Yuno has always wanted to pursue and he plans to see where his acting career will take him. Mm. According to the group, Yuno is the one most likely to be caught playing video games. <laughs> he wears this badge proudly and has no problem admitting to it. 
He likes to play in his room and does so a lot when he has free time. I'm sorry, all I can see is he likes to play like in his room he's too, right? <laughs> and does so a lot when he has free time. Yunho is an avid fan of Harry Potter and Spider-Man. Ooh, same. Rather than an idol, his true dream is to be Spider-Man. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Recently, on an interview ATs did with Wired, we found out that Yunho is the only member of ATs that has a license and can mm. drive. To sum everything up, Yunho is perfect and everyone should love him, period. I know, I'm kind of loving him right now. Like. The moving sculpture, yeah. <laughs> He's literally gorgeous. Like. June 15, 1999. Vocalist, visual, show performer, 5'9, ISFP. Okay. <clears throat> I'm in INFJ. I don't know if there's any of those in this group. I've also been loving his voice lately. <laughs> Yo Sang started off as a trainee under Big Hit Entertainment when he was 17. Mm. He later made the decision to leave. I think you guys At told that me that. Time, I think it was the he other received one, um, offers from Uyang. six different companies and ended up choosing KQ. Him. He became the visual and a vocalist in the group. Hong Jung said in an interview that the team leader at KQ put in a lot of effort to get Yo Sang to join them. The thing about Yo Sang is that he has a kind of inconspicuous type of humor. You might not notice him immediately because he is not one to make himself the center of attention. But he is naturally funny and his humor is very much underrated. Yo is Sang this like makes a Halloween a lot practice? Of people laugh because he is very okay with and very good at exposing people. <laughs> he is known on occasion to be very savage. <laughs> like, oh, better get ready. <laughs> 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 but this does not dismiss his sweet and effervescent personality. He is quite like an angel. That is, <laughs> when he is not busy calling someone out. Yo Sang is able to the, fool most like people, the best people. Into believing that he is not as undomesticated as the rest of the group. But <laughs> what when is you happening? really get to know him, 
you'll find that he is not as normal as he is first that appears on, to be. Like concert. Yeah. <laughs> Sang once told a teenies that if he is nervous for something, he pretends that he is in a simulation and that nothing is real. While that is a really helpful tip, we can all admit that is not the usual answer someone would give. Yeah. But then again, when asked, Yu Sang said that he thinks he is the only one who is normal among the 99 liners. <laughs> While Yu Sang takes the role of the most domesticated of the undomesticated 99 liners, what kind of animal he is? is a topic of heavy debate. Yo Sang has always been given the title of a Maltese because of his softness and resemblance. <laughs> but recently Yo Sang has declared that he is not a Maltese but a Doberman. This drastic switch in breed has found a lot of pushback. Most fans still call him a Maltese, which you'll find on their page for him at fan signs. But he insists on being called a Doberman. <laughs> when he is rightly called that, he is very happy. So if you ever have the honor and privilege of meeting Yo Sang, please call him a Doberman. The reason for this switch up from Yo Sang can probably be attributed to the fact that over the past year, he has grown tremendously both on the inside and out. Both his newly found confidence and biceps are something fans have picked up on. <laughs> According to ATs, Yo Zong, along with Sam, are most likely to be caught at the gym. So, I suppose to him, the Shy Maltese has transformed into a strong Doberman. Yo Sang is often introduced and referred to as a moving sculpture and when you see him, the reason oh, yeah. is clear. <laughs> he is very distinctly pretty and multiple of the members even said that when he first arrived at KQ, they were intimidated because he was so good looking. <laughs> Something that makeup hides from our sight is Yo Sang's beautiful birthmark on the side of his face. Fans love when he is barefaced because it is one of the very few opportunities we get to see his birthmark. When you peruse ATs's discography, you might not notice Yo Sang's voice. This is because he did not get a lot of parts in songs early in ATs's career. Mm. While a lot of fans were upset I definitely did notice this, that. Yo Sang himself once said that he was very shy in the beginning and did not want a lot of lines. It really shows just how much Yo Sang has grown both on the outside and inside because now his presence on stage can be felt from across a stadium. Yo Sang has an extremely intense stare that he uses to his advantage yeah. when he performs. Many fans and non-fans alike say that Yo Sang has very deep eyes and it is this mm. feature that makes him even I think that's what I said in like the now first look and stuff is like his eyes are so like distinct We are able to fully pretty. appreciate his rich deep voice. Not unlike Minji, Yo Sang- Yeah, his voice is like, I love his singing tone and stuff so much but the first time i heard him speak i was Thanks like oh my god both when he sings and talks is very full and very deep mm. this quality enriches every lyric he sings and sends a shiver down your spine because it flows as smooth and as thickly as honey mm. like his voice does not match his face His voice really reminds me of V from BTS. His like, tremendous vocal ability um, that kind should of tone. not take away from the fact that, like the rest of the members of 80s, Yo Sang's dancing skills are remarkable and stand yeah, out on stage. Yeah, his dancing is so good, especially with Just those hard like hits and everything. Just like his and his voice, his performance skills and presence on stage is resolute and absolutely noteworthy. Yo Sang has been an MC on SBS MTV's The Show since March 2nd, 2021. Oh, really? Yo Sang leads as the oldest of the trio of MCs, and he has his own segment titled Uncommon Dance Lessons. <laughs> Yo 
Yeo Sang's funny and bright personality shines in his role as MC. So if you would like to see more of Yeo Sang, tune into the show every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Korean time, of course. Yeo Sang's favorite food is chicken. And while that <laughs> might not seem important, it is to him. Something else you should know about Yeo Sang is that he created a character called He Hetman. And 18ies love to see the different variations and emotions He Hetman has. <laughs> That's to so end, cute. I want you to know that according to Yeo Sang, he will forever be your chicken leg. <laughs> yeah, sound's been really sticking out to me. July 10, 1999, lead vocalist, performer. Um, throw in that dancer because <laughs> he's one of my favorite dancers too. Five more INF. The first thing you should know about Mountain, or San, as some people like to call him, is that he is not human. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe. San was the fourth member to join ATs. He came to Seoul on his own all the way from his hometown Namhae. Though he was good at singing, San had to work very hard to improve his skills enough to debut as a lead singer. Now, we can see, all of his hard work did not go to waste, as mm. he has been given titles such as, the man who will change the standards of K-pop performance, by journalists. At first glance, when watching him perform, the thought that pops into most people's mind is how can anyone perform the way he does. San is renowned for his inexplicable performance expertise. Hmm. Not only does he move his body in ways that would otherwise break the bones of any normal human being. <laughs> Dude, did you see his ankle? Jeez. But it seems that just like having a clear choreography for a song, San also creates his own face choreography. Hmm. San has said that he thinks deeply about what the song is trying to say and then embodies that. He says that he which tries is like to tell the main quality story of a with dancer, his dancing like... and facial expressions. Hmm. This is extremely evident yeah, when just... he performs A.T.'s song Inception. He has so, a look of like, loss, longing and tragedy on his face very and really makes you experience the song with him. Mm. Mm. I definitely noticed that in the music video too. I love that. <laughs> It seems that he never loses his character in a song and has mm. endless energy. Unsurprisingly, San is the third member of ATS's Demon Line. <laughs> San's switch when a stage begins is so dramatic that it is very hard not to notice. Just like flip that switch on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
And then like afterwards, Due to like, this. or like, and in making films and stuff, he's like the cutest person. I'm just like, this, <laughs> the switch up is just like. One of his nicknames is actually Satan. <laughs> it is also worth noting that San's flexibility is in part due to the fact that he is a third degree black belt in Taekwondo. Oh, really? San's natural ability to always show some type of expression or emotion on his face, whether he is in the back or in the center, has garnered a lot of attention from fans, experts, Sambinins, and Hobeis. It has come to the attention of 18s that many artists in the K-pop <laughs> industry look up to San because of his unusual and indelible performances. Mm. Many younger artists, peers, and some beings have mentioned San as a source of inspiration when they perform. Watching a San fan cam always holds amazing surprises, and this is something most people have noticed. San's fan cams have been named on the top 100 list of the most viewed male K-pop idol fan I can see why. <laughs> coming in as number 24 for his studio Kung Fireworks fan cam with over 497,000 oh, views. And number 16 for his Wonderland and Hala Hala fan cams, surpassing 1 million views. Jeez. San is very critical of himself and always looks for ways to be better and do better. This is why, in his free time, he uses YouTube to review both lift stages and his fan cam. Jeez. He likes to look for mistakes and ways that he can do better next time. One of the most shocking things to discover as a new 18e is San's intense duality. Mm. He is as affable as he is remarkable. Anyone who knows San knows that he is extremely caring and has a childlike, innocent quality to him. This is why he is often treated like the unofficial Magni. <laughs> San is extremely passionate when it comes to sharing all the love he has to give. And he makes sure to extend this enormous amount of love to all his members and every single 18 -y. San loves physical touch, and it is this love language that he often uses to display his love to members. He is also constantly giving out amazing advice to 18 -ies, to encourage us and raise our spirits so we don't give up. Out amazing advice to 18 e To encourage us and raise our spirits so we don't give up. Yeah, I love that. And he is, by far, one of the biggest hype men ever. <laughs> All these qualities are why on April 14, 2021, San was selected to be an ambassador of his hometown Namhae. Though San is very intimidating on stage, he is very much like an endless ball of sunshine and energy. <laughs> he has so much of it, that it often comes out very erratically. Hong Jun testified that San was the reason ATS's jumping ban was instituted in their training days. According to Zhang Ho, they could be walking outside, and San would randomly begin jumping off invisible walls and try to reach high branches. Most times, Zhang Ho just pretends he does not know him. But why am I Jungle? Oh my song extremely often. But he still hits his notes as effortlessly as water flowing out of a faucet. <laughs> Most people are often distracted by his performance abilities, but San's vocals are exceptionally impressive. His vocals are some of my favorite. His voice is used in songs for very high falsettos. Mm. Low tones. Ooh. And my personal favorite, raspy and gritty parts. His 
voice is really versatile. Lastly, I want to let you know that San has dimples that could make anyone fall oh, yeah. in love with just a smile. So, it's okay if you already did. His smile is one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the princess. <laughs> August 9th, 1999, main rapper, lead dancer, six foot, and ENTP. Okay. See, I wouldn't have pegged Mingi as a big extrovert from what I have seen so far, but I've only watched like a couple things, but his rapping tone is probably my, one of my favorites, like in the whole industry right now. His tone is so unique and you can pick him out so like easily. The very first thing I think of when I think of Mingi is that he is the most adorable person on earth. <laughs> Looking at him on stage, that okay. must sound- I don't know. I know some people can get like a little offended if people um, compare idols and all that stuff, which I don't mean any disrespect or anything by it, but ever since I saw Mingi, he always reminds me of Jisung from um, NCT Dream. Just like it's his looks strange. and stuff reminds me so much, but plus the deep voice. It's like where? <laughs> At first glance, Mingi does not seem that disparate from the rest of the 99 liners, especially on stage. But Mingi is actually quite shy and reserved. Mm -hmm. Though he has his own bouts of random shouting and chaotic dancing, especially when he is around the people he loves, Mingi often takes a background role when in a group setting. It's like, is somebody gonna answer me like cheese? Not to say he isn't the brightest person in the world. His smile lights up any dark room, mm. and when he is happy, all is at peace in the world. Mingi takes friendship quite seriously, puts a lot of effort into it, and can get offended when his feelings aren't reciprocated to the same degree. <laughs> Okay, 
This happens particularly with Yunho, Mingyi's best friend of several years. Mm. Mingyi and Yunho, or Yunji as fans call them, mm. were best friends for four years before joining ATs. Oh, okay, Mingyi really. was the third member to join ATs. Mingyi and Yunho actually auditioned for the company without the other knowing. Another mm. semblance of fate working to bring ATs together. That's Mingyi so cool, is though. known by the group as the one who is afraid of almost everything. <laughs> It is quite funny to watch, and ATs takes a lot of pleasure in it. Minji is also known to lie to the point of hyperbole. <laughs> Seriously, he is often claiming things that logically don't make any sense. Like the multiple times he has claimed he has never been afraid in his entire life, and proceeds to jump out of his skin because something scared him. <laughs> he has also claimed that he has never lost before, even though his track record shows he is terrible at games. Many of the lies Mingi tells tend to catch up to him quite quickly. In the behind the scenes video of AT's song Don't Stop, Mingi told the camera that he has never been cold in his life, then proceeded to shiver because it was cold <laughs> outside. Mingi's nickname is Princess and he often bounces around when he is happy. Is that Though why? In the past he was very frivolous, recently you can see a more mature atmosphere around him. Amusingly, though, Minji is extremely outdated and does not know how to work a lot of things. <laughs> he is constantly exclaiming about how far the internet has come. Despite all of this, Mingyi is actually much smarter and more serious than people give him credit for. He has written amazing raps in practically no time, which is mm, what he did yeah, when he wrote that, his verse um, for 80s' title track answer. In a hotel he puts a lot of room, a day before they had lyric to writing and it, stuff into it. Mingyi also oh, participates really? in producing AT's songs. And just like Hongjun, <clears throat> Mingyi stayed longer in Los Angeles after their 2022 world tour to work with and learn from American producers. He writes all of his verses and truly takes the time to express his feelings when he I does. Love that. Mingyi, along with Hongjun, is on the list of the top copyrighted idols. Mm. Like Hongjun, Minji has a trademark before his rap. Okay, I'm spinning. Your big song is back in the town. What's up? He frequently says the phrase fix on before his verses to indicate to the listener not only that he is about to rap, but that they should focus and fix their attention on him. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure one of the very first things you noticed when you listened to an AT song was the guy with the deep voice. Oh yeah. That guy is Mingyi. <laughs> As someone who saw him in person, I can confirm that his voice truly is deeper than the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Mingyi also sometimes integrates singing into his verses. So mm. much so that many people say that all eight members of ATs are great vocalists. Yeah. Ooh, I love the sound of this. Yeah, I feel like because he has such that like smooth, deep voice that it really fits. Though Mingyi is obviously not an official vocalist, this does not stop him from loudly practicing to be the main vocalist of ATs in his free time. Mingyi is quite the performer, and his on-stage presence is very intimidating Yeah, I love when he's center. He pulls you in as soon as he begins to perform, and it is mm. very hard to take your eyes off of him. His dance skills are incredible, and it is clear even from afar his obvious talent. <laughs> Him too, he's pretty tall like um, Yunho is too, and he's a great dancer. Something I wanted to make sure I touched on is the fact that Mingyi went on hiatus from November 2020 mm -hmm. to September 2021 due to psychological anxiety. Fans missed him immensely and everyone, especially ATs, 
felt his absence the whole time. Mm, I'm glad he took that break though. Why when you he won't realized see that him he in multiple of ATS's music videos and anything else they participated in. Mm. Some examples are the official music video for ATS's title track Fireworks and also the entire Kingdom Survival show. But as is to everyone's relief, Mingy is much better now, and his Good. break really solidified his importance in the lives of every ATS. <laughs> the fox. Okay, November 26, 1999. Main dancer, vocalist, visual, 5 and ENFJ. Okay. Yeah, you can tell he's a huge extrovert, like, on and off of stage. Have you ever met someone who deliberately goes out of their way to mess with you all the time, <laughs> yet you can't help but love them? Mm. Then you must have met Wu Young. Wu Young is uncategorically mean, but he somehow is the only one that can flawlessly get away with it. <laughs> Dude, he would make me so mad. <laughs> Cheater. Though, Wu Young never does it with the intention of being genuinely mean. Yeah. And it usually is an indication of how close he feels to you. <laughs> Wu Young is an expert at a Jio and usually uses it to get away something or win a favor. This is especially true when ATs shoot reality show and Wu Young wants the director or staff to grant a special request. <laughs> <laughs> Wu Young has an extremely distinct laugh that can be recognized from behind a closed door. It is very high pitched and usually accompanied by clapping. It is, in all seriousness, a trademark of Wu Young. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it is so high pitched. I love that. Wu Young has a smile that makes you want to work hard just to see it. And mm. no matter how much he teases you, you can't help but still love him. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wu Young is extremely loud and loves to be the center of attention. Mm, you can he tell. He's a textbook extrovert and flows yeah. in and out of conversations with strangers with practiced ease. That is this so impressive, is why though. Like, Young has I admire anyone that has those kind of social skills. He is particularly close to TXT's Yin Jun and Stray mm. Kids Changbin. Something else that you might notice about Wu Young is that he flirts with everyone. <laughs> in fact, Wu Young could probably make a robot fall in love with him. He knows the power he holds and has no problem with using it to his advantage. But according to Wu Young, he was naturally born that way and does not intentionally flirt. Oh my god. <laughs> All of Wu Young's qualities really make the constant comparisons of him and a fox very accurate. Though it has never been officially said, it is quite obvious that Wu Young's love language is physical touch. No, yeah, Out you can totally tell. Members, Wu Young is the one to initiate skinship the most. He loves to kiss and hug the members and is constantly attached to someone. More often than not, <laughs> that person is San. 
San and Wu Young are extremely close, mm. to the point that they have matching tattoos that say Amicus at Oh, Aris, really? A Latin phrase that means I was actually wondering a that, lifelong um, partner. Oh, I love that. I was wondering um, if any of them have tattoos and or, stuff. A friend to the very end. Their ship name is Wusan, and unlike other ships in 18s, Wusan actually coined it themselves and are very <laughs> aware of its fandom. In a fan call with Wu Young, a fan asked what the fandom name for Wusan was. So Wu Young asked San who was, unshockingly, right beside him. They decided on P, which is the Korean word for rain because Wusan mm. means umbrella in Korean. Wu oh, Young really? is also very close to Yoseng. The two have been friends for eight years now. They knew each other before they joined ATs, when they were trainees at Hybe, formerly mm. known as Big Hit Entertainment. Yo Sang left Hybe and auditioned for KQ. Later, Wu Young left Hybe and followed Ye Sang to KQ because they promised each other that they would debut together. Wu I Young that. said that if he succeeded, he wanted to do it with Yo Sang, and if he failed, he wanted to fail with Yo Sang. This made Wu Young the last member to join ATs. Hong Jung said that if Wu Young wasn't there, the members would not be as close as they are. Mm. And Mingi says that Wu Young is the jewel of the group and completed ATs. Wu Young's skills was evident as a trainee and has become even better in the last three yeah, years. Yeah, I love his dancing. Wu Young has put a tremendous amount of effort in elevating his dancing skills. Most people don't know, but Wu Young had an extremely tough time as a trainee and his audition for KQ was his last try before giving up on his dreams. Oh, really? Now, he has found true confidence in his abilities and even has a Studio Kum Artist of the Month to boast of. Mm, I saw the thumbnail of it. I want to watch this so bad. I don't want to be another him. That shit is over. Finally, you found yourself a friend. Then you run him over. Ever since the start, I saw the end. Around the corner, cause I know you so well. So predictable, you're an animal. I can't let you go. So like San, Wu Young also showed up on the list of 100 of the most viewed fan cams of male K pop idols, mm. with his artist of the month coming in as number 41. Mm. Yeah, I feel like he's so good with like, his extensions and Though stuff. Wu Young is very known for his dancing abilities, his vocals are nothing to scoff at. Mm. They often whisk you away in a soft cloud when you hear them. His yeah, voice is very light and wispy, in, um, and this delicacy Aurora. is what makes it so satisfying to listen to him. Ooh, that run. Ooh, I really like the sound of that. Yeah, I feel like he has a very like light and airy voice. It's so nice. Wu Young loves to cook and is the member most likely to be found cooking at the dorm. <laughs> he likes to cook for the members and is always working on his cooking skills. Wu Young is also passionate about video editing and he makes vlogs that record the daily lives of 80s. Oh really? <laughs> Why do you eat it like that though? <laughs> Dude, their concerts must be so fun. Like with their energy and stage presence, there are a must lot be of behind-the-scenes content, so I suggest you check them out. Mm. A stern warning: as you get to know ATs more, be wary of looking too long at Wu Young, because <laughs> he just might make you fall in love. <laughs>
Hey, Jung Ho. The bear. <laughs> Dude, this. His vocals are freaking insane. October 12, 2000. Korean vocalists in Refne, Five Nine, and ISFJ. Okay. Yeah. To be born in 2000 and have a freaking voice like that, his vocals are crazy. And you guys said that he was like just as good live too, which is insane. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, Jango is the Hyung of 80s. Though he is the youngest and officially the Magni, you can never tell from the way he acts. Yeah, no, he is. He acts like. He has like such like a more mature like era. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, vanilla and coffee. Uh, brand topping. Uh, banana <laughs> and banana, banana and strawberry and Oreo. And uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like he gets annoyed very easily. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, San is the Magni, and Jango acts accordingly. You will often see Jango shushing San or telling him to stop, <laughs> calm down, or be quiet. Mm. This is hilarious considering their ages, but Jango being San's young isn't the only surprising thing. Recently, San and Jango found out that they are very distant relatives because they are both from the Jiang line of Choi clan. Oh, really? Jango was the seventh member to join ATs. He was actually into sports when he was young, but then later felt a stronger pull to singing. Mm. He became a trainee at Top oh, Entertainment good, because for his several voice is like years before making the move to, to be KQ recognized. and becoming their main vocalist and maknae. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most noticeable things about Jung Ho, even at a quick glance, is his almost somber disposition. While he is the calmest of the group, mm -hmm. it should not be mistaken as boring. Jango is very funny and takes joy in exposing other members. <laughs> Not unlike Yo Sang, Jango's humor is very underrated and often looked past. <laughs> An example of this is a fan call where Jong Ho gave his excuse for overspending. He said, I didn't want to spend much money while abroad, but I accidentally entered a store and accidentally bought something expensive. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unlike Wu Young, Jango does not love skinship. But all mm. of this makes it even more worthwhile when he shocks fans by making an obvious joke or initiating a hug. But, as his Hang status dictates, Jango is great at moderating the arguments of the group and soothing the worries of 18s. <laughs> <laughs> a mediator right there. Quite unlike Minji, Jongo is the complete opposite when it comes to fear. His unchanging countenance in the face of things that make most people scream is, like San said, scarier than anything else. 
It makes sense that Jong-ho takes on this somewhat protective role in the group, because he is also the strongest one in ATs. The video of Jong-ho breaking multiple apples with his bare hands Jeez. while singing beautifully went viral. Jong-ho claims he can beat every member of ATs in arm wrestling with just one finger. As outlandish as that sounds, I believe him. Just <laughs> yeah. like his adult-like personality, Jong-ho is obsessed with Americanos, and they are his idea of a dessert. Not only does Jong-ho not See, get Americanos scared, are not he's desserts. extremely strong, but he is good at literally everything. Often on the first try. Whether it is fruit carving, making Jeez. bamboo rings, or holding a single note without breathing for 1 minute and 28 seconds. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> this is only right as the magne on top, a title that was given to Jong-ho, due to mm. his vast ability to be amazing at anything that he does. Jong-ho is also known as the best vocalist of the 4th gen. Mm. But, though he is a 4th generation idol, his singing mastery rivals sunbeams and experts alike. Yeah. When people listen to A.T.'s songs, they often hear an almost angelic sound. Mm. Some even mistake his voice for an instrument when they first <laughs> hear an A.T.'s song. Because it is yeah, very hard to fathom so nice. a human being hitting such notes so perfectly. <laughs> He's got to have some OSTs, right? Yeah. His vocals have stupefied experts, peers, some Benims, and even the most weathered teenies. Mm. They almost make no sense and don't seem physically <laughs> possible. Sometimes, he even Elf sings in like a female a register, thing. which is much higher than a male's. Mm. In ATs's very first performance on Immortal Songs, which was also their first win, Jong Ho dumbfounded the experts, judges, and audience by hitting six consecutive notes without Shh. stopping. It was the performance of a lifetime. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Jong Ho then coupled this feat by doing it again. Dude, I need to watch these freaking performances. In ATS's like, performance geez. of Wonderland Symphony Number no. Nine on the survival show Kingdom: Legendary War. This accomplishment becomes even more amazing when you discover that. When Jong Ho performed this song at one of ATs's American concerts, his microphone stopped working right before he was supposed to sing. Oh, but really? he didn't let that stop him and ended up singing without a microphone. His voice was so strong, loud, and clear that the yeah. melody reached even the highest seat in the venue. <sighs> Fans were shocked, to say the least. Jong Ho is constantly improving his vocal abilities and like some of the members. He stayed back in Los Angeles after the 2022 tour. He used this time to learn and train with vocal experts. Mm. Being good at everything includes performance. Jong Ho's strong, flawless vocals are paired with intense facial expressions that display the quality. In yeah, and to do all that choreo and stuff, most and people still don't notice or recognize vocals, this like... because of their laser-like focus on his voice. But Jong Ho is also a standout dancer. Mm. Mm. 
Jango is often called a teddy bear or gummy bear. <laughs> Either way, he is a bear, and he is quite fine with that. If you are ever frustrated that you aren't good at something, just remind yourself that it is okay. Because you're not Jango, and there is literally nothing <laughs> you can do about that. Mm. I have mentioned the demon line three times throughout this video. The demon line is very well known in 18 evil and it consists of Hongjun, Songhua and San. The reason for this moniker is the fact that the second a performance starts, their entire countenance and persona changes, yeah. and it looks <laughs> as though they are possessed. While this aids in creating some of the best performances you have ever seen, it is quite noticeable and 18ies love to point it out. Dude, especially After all of this, Hanjin. thank you for coming, thank you for staying, and thank you for getting to know our boys. Bon logo. Good chin. You're saying you're going to go. Hello. 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 A T J 한국 관광공사 엔딩으로 이제 이어집니다. 아 이제 우리 편집자분께서 네. 엔딩이 많잖아요. 그래서 뭐 어떤 것을 엔딩으로 쓸지 잘 모르겠지만 음, 편집자님 제 것을 꼭 써주세요. 알겠죠? 엔딩 <웃음> 후보 대결이야? 네, 엔딩 후보 대결. 브이로그 엔딩으로 이제 네. 안녕하십니까? 네, 엔딩 <웃음> 후보 <웃음> 세 번째 민기입니다. 아, 네 번째? 제가 이번에 엔딩을 하기 위해서 탈색을 한 거거든요. 이러면 엔딩 안 시켜줄 수가 없죠. 그러니까 제가 엔딩 하게 해주세요. 사랑해요. 모두가 엔딩을 노릴 때 <웃음> 나는 편집점을 노린다. 저는 욕심이 없습니다. 엔딩은 누군가 하겠죠. 네, 저는 엔딩을 <웃음> 사랑할 뿐입니다. 엔딩 사랑해요. Okay, so that is the end of the guide. I that was so nicely put together so thank you for making that um <laughs> this video is like almost two hours long so I hope you guys are fine with that <laughs> um but I love getting to know them more they seem like such genuinely nice people and that really put their all into what they do and it really shows with their performances and their songs and everything and the duality on them is crazy <laughs> like especially freaking the demon line and everything like i don't understand especially son he's like two completely different people off of stage but yeah i love all their personalities so much like they just seem like such a nice like fun group and it, i'm so excited to get into more of their stuff um whether it be music wise or like interviews or just fun videos um so let me know what else you want me to watch from them um like we have been we're gonna go through their music videos in order and stuff um right now i am currently at i just watched inception and thanks is the next one um and then i eventually want to get to their albums and learn about the storyline so gonna be a lot of 80s on this channel um but yeah i really enjoyed this and got to know them a little bit more right now freaking sunghwa and hong joon are like the top of my list right now um i feel like they are such nice people and they like they're just so cool <laughs> and like you can tell that they're really a unit when they sing or when they dance or like anything and I want to check out these live performances so much like just from the ones that I saw in here they look so cool and like to know that they have those live vocals and everything while they do all that choreo and have this literally like huge production is so nice um but yeah 
I really enjoy this. Um, I can't wait to get to know them even more and get through their stuff more. Um, but yeah, I admire all of them for the hard work they put in and really like, especially Hong Jun, the amount of effort that he puts in to like everything and like the production stuff too and the lyric writing and just like them as a group is just so nice. Um, but yeah, I am really excited to get into more stuff. Um, I just saw that they announced the dates of their tour, so good luck to everybody getting tickets. Um, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Hopefully it works out. If not, it's fine. Eventually see them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this long video with me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.